Good afternoon. I'm back again. This is my third soap for the new year, but my first video for the new year. Um, today I'm making a soap scented in Swimming Naked, which is a lush dupe um, by the Fragrance Shed. It's not supposed to accelerate or discolour, so crossing my fingers. It is described as a warm fragrance with um, clove and cedar wood and hints of violet. Uh, I'm just whisking it in at this stage. I'll do my stick blending when I add my colours. So just whisking to emulsification. So probably about one minute of whisking and that's it. And then I'll pour off my three colours. So we've actually been in the middle of the bushfire emergency. Um, we were evacuated from home twice. So I've spent a fair amount of time away at the end of December and the start of January. Uh, I think the fires are, you know, we're quite safe from the fires now. They've sort of moved on. It's now up around um, Omeo and this creek area so quite frightening they've been and very frightening for the people up there with um with their farms so we're lucky uh our property was not affected it's just you know quite quite a scary time so what i'm going to do now is add some activated charcoal to my base Not sure how much we'll need. We'll start with that much and see if it's enough. And then my pots of colour. I'll have um, these are Bath Bomb World neons, so I'll have neon blue. There we go. Neon pink. And then from my micro obsession, I normally use Eminence, but this time I've got Magic Violet. I don't, I haven't used this one before. Looks to me to be quite similar to Eminence. So I'm going to have a black base with a mini drop swirl of these colours. So we'll start by blending the colours. So neons always need a stick blend, otherwise you'll have speckles of colour. So look how thick already that is. I wasn't sure with the clove oil, uh, the clove in the description, whether this would um, stay thin. It did say no acceleration, but it's looking to me like there is acceleration. So my charcoal. I don't want to blend anything too much because I do want to be able to achieve my drop swirl. I don't want a plop swirl. If I can avoid it. So we'll move along quickly. I'll get my mould. I want to pour all my black in. This is a fragrance that I really like. I love earthy, um, spicy fragrances. I don't know if I mentioned um, which luck, lush fragrance it's a dupe of. It's called Skinny Dip. If you are a lush fan. I've had these fragrances for quite a while. I just haven't used them. I 
and so I don't want it to go too deep into the black but I don't want it to sit on the top either so So it was interesting being evacuated to my sister's house. I took our five dogs and I took a lot of cats. And I took a ferret and I took the kids. And my sister had to get on her local Facebook page because she lives in suburbia down in Melbourne and ask for people to loan her enclosures, which the good people of Melbourne, I was so blown away, people loaned us enclosures they didn't know us. All they knew was our situation. Um, so we had all the cats in the enclosures. The dogs running around her house and her yard. So it was quite an interesting experience. I did bring our caravan. So at night, the kids and I and the dogs slept in the caravan. But still... The end of it she said I love you and it's been lovely to have you but it's also lovely to have you go home and I really can't blame her she just went above and beyond to look after us which I'm sure um, a lot of people have found with this um, current fire situation just how much people are willing to help when there's an emergency like this I know two people that lost one person that lost their home, uh, a couple, and one person who lost his entire home and his farm. So it's um, pretty devastating. And I've watched a few videos on Facebook of people who stayed to fight and uh, made my mind up after watching those videos. There is no way that I would stay and fight a fire. That looks so scary. Um, Wayne did stay at the farm. Uh, you probably all know that we have a dairy farm. So Wayne stayed, he wasn't gonna leave the cows. Um, wasn't, we weren't able to move them. We've got about 200, they've gotta be milked twice a day. Uh, so he stayed at the farm with the cows and on the high danger days, he put them up close to the house in a paddock that had uh, just gravel in it and they were set up to fight the fires and protect the cows in the farm. Luckily they didn't have to. But yeah, we've had um, a lot of road closures. Uh, this time of year uh, where I live near Lakes Entrance, it's normally the peak tourist time, but all the tourists were asked to leave Lakes Entrance. Everybody around the area got text messages saying, you know, if you don't need to be here, leave. And they asked the tourists especially just to, to not be here at this time. They don't need extra people to be worried about. So a lot of businesses have suffered greatly in our area. Um, being that, you know, December, January is the peak time for those businesses to be making money. So we're hoping once the danger of these fires has um, passed, that people will come back. So I've just banged that on the ground. Now I'm gonna get my chopstick and do a swirl. So I think the danger for our area is almost past. And um, it'll be really nice. We're having a big market in Lakes Entrance for Australia Day weekend. Um, the New Year's Eve fireworks were cancelled here. So they're planning some fireworks for Lakes Entrance for Australia Day. Um, so we're hoping that uh, a lot of the people that were planning to come but couldn't come over Christmas might um, change their holiday plans to come for that Australia Day weekend. Just... Um, help the community out and we, like I've had a few markets cancelled this month um, just due to the fires being too close so it, you know it has hurt us 
but uh, I mean, it doesn't really bother me as long as everybody's safe. That's all I'm really worried about. As long as everyone with a heartbeat is safe. Um, I mean, money's just money, really. It's not really that important. So there we go. There is uh, Swimming Naked. I think I'll be calling it Skinny Dip. Um, I wanted to sort of make it look like a nighttime scene. So swimming naked in the moonlight, maybe. I don't know. Uh, we'll come back tomorrow and see what it looks like on the inside. And thanks for joining me for my first soap video of 2020. Good morning. Back to cut swimming naked or skinny dipping or whatever it's um, going to end up being called. In my multi bar cutter. And we'll have a look. There we go. Quite happy with that. It's pretty much the look I was going for. And of course it smells amazing. I really like this fragrance. So there we go. Thank you for taking the time to join me. And hopefully I'll catch you again soon. So I've just decided at the last minute that I'm going to add a little dragonfly to each of these. So I've got my little dragonfly soap stamp and some mica powder here which I just tap the stamp into the mica powder um, and then gently pushing not too hard and there we go so I'm just going to add a little dragonfly to the front of each one just to finish them off and now i'll call them done so thanks for joining me and i will um hopefully catch you next time and i hope that you've enjoyed spending some time with me today and you have a lovely day yourself